when I listed down all the things I did, I suddenly realized I had no time to do anything else. I had no time if, if I put myself today, right, if what I did back then, I got no time for the internet though. I had so many activities from school to church to ECA to the stuff I was doing at home with my friends. Taking 111 bus down to Orchard Road to go down to the hawkers. It does, remember, there was, it used to be that all the hawkers were in front of a cold storage or something, that big open car park yeah. there, right? There. Um, yeah, so it, it, it was just totally amazing, though. Let alone scene shifters, which took two, day, two nights every week for the yeah. whole year, right? Because we put two shows on. Though. So, I mean, it was... Quite amazing. No wonder I didn't do so well in school, uh, you know, because I was doing everything else other than studies. I did put tuition but, there, for, you know, for a couple. Well, of I think months. I think given uh, if you were in today's context, you will still find a lot of excuses not to do schoolwork, right? I think that's our <laughs> makeup. That's the way it is. Yeah. But can we get away with it, which we could back then, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. back in the day, you couldn't study or like, you became a hawker, right? No, they yeah. don't know. Graduate from poly, then you go for a hawker. Ah. <laughs> Recently, I just heard they, actually some some I just heard from the sources some kids actually enrolled for a, a one year hawker course after graduating from poly. So wow. Really? Ah, really? Yeah. Nowadays, so, you study, you get a master's, you can drive Grab.